Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to part two of today's massive press conference. Two huge signings for Queensbury, for Frank Warren. And as you can see at the top table here, we have got... Yeah, forget, hey, hey, hey. forget men's Shh. boxing, forget female boxing. This is very simply one of the best fighters in the world today. She's the former undisputed super lightweight champion of the world, Chantelle Cameron. She's joined the ranks after a roller coaster of a 2023. She's going to start 2024 off with a bang with Queensbury. She comes to us with a record of 18 wins, only that one defeat. And of course, she is the only professional fighter to hold a win over Katie Taylor. Now, I'm going to start off with uh, a Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Frank Warren, who, uh, who is beaming, who is delighted. Uh, another fantastic signing here. And Frank, when you heard that Chantel may be available, I bet that got your, your ears perked up. It certainly did. And uh, we were really, really uh, keen to get her, her signature. And we've done that. Uh, it's got a fantastic record, 18 and one. Dodgy one. But... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. You know, we've, I was the old bloke who never really got into too much into women's boxing, and I've sort of changed my opinion over the last few years. And, uh, you know, we've got one of the best, one of the best there, no doubt about that. And uh, I'm looking forward to some really good fight nights working with her. Well, welcome, Chantel Cameron. Great to have you on the team here. Um, tell us how you're feeling. It's been like the 2023 was like up and up and down for you, and we've been waiting. When when's she going to fight again? Looks like we're getting some clarity. How do you feel? I'm delighted. I'm delighted to be new new boxer for Queensbury, fighting on TNT, and just very grateful to Frank Warren and George for signing me and going to back me to get my belts back and get back on top and show everyone that that my last defeat, that will never happen again. Is that a fight that you've been able to kind of watch back and digest, or is it, is it still too kind of a... I've actually not watched it back yet because there was a bit too much blood, and I'm still frustrated from the fight. There was a lot of hugging, holding, headbutting. So I'll watch it back at some point, but that's when she starts running and gives me that fight. So I'll watch it back, and then I'll obviously have to see what went wrong, what, what went right, but obviously I know kind of what did happen and it's all in my head still because I'm so frustrated about the fight and annoyed that I did lose but um, not watched it back just yet. It's up here for now, don't need to watch it. Has that lit something in you, Chantel? Was there, is there like a more fire than ever from this version of Chantel Cameron? A hundred percent and now I've got a new promoter that's going to back me hundred percent. I feel like now I've, my worst fear in boxing was losing and I've had that loss and now it's completely different. I feel like I just want to rip everyone's head off because it's at the point now where I took that loss, I know what I'm capable of, and I just won't let it happen again. And anyone that's in my way, I'm coming for them, and I'm going to get my belts back one way or another. So the message is very clear, Frank. Uh, Chantel Cameron wants her belts back. What, what kind of plan have, have we got for her? We're going to announce the uh, show next week, aren't we? So we've got a, quite a big show that she's going to feature on, and I'm looking forward to that. You're going to love the show as well. And she will get the opportunity to win her belts back. We'll make sure that happens. There'll be a pathway put there for her to follow. And uh, at the end of the day, she's capable, and she, I'm quite sure she will, she will get what she set, is setting out to do, which is to become world champion again. And in terms of a signing joining Queensbury, uh, th this is someone clearly at the very top of her game right now. It's still perhaps the best year still yet to come, but she's already an undisputed champion in her weight division. This is quite a marquee signing, Frank. It is, it is. And uh, women's boxing is going from strength to strength, and it's because of the like, you know, Katie, uh, Chantel, and, you know, we've got Raven, and uh, we've got you know, a few other uh, ladies have signed with us, and they're, they're trailblazers. And people are buying into it now and they're appearing on big shows. And they'll say what we're going to announce next week. Everybody's going to be delighted. I promise, promise you they will be. Chantel, how, how do you reflect on your 2023? Because it, it, was, it was a breakout year, almost, almost certainly, that you got that win over Katie Taylor, but then it ended not, not so great for you. How do you reflect on it? It was definitely a roller coaster. In May, I was on top of the world. Uh, I proved everyone that I was the best 140 pounder and took Katie's crown on her homecoming. So I ruined her homecoming like I said I was going to do. But then obviously November didn't quite go to how I planned it to go. But um, I kind of took it as a massive lesson now because 
I just got to make sure that I don't get complacent, I don't switch off and be hungry and just got to get that savageness back in me and make sure that if someone's going to hold on to me like that again, they're certainly not going to want to because I make sure that I punish them for it. Well, it sounds like she she's in your sights, Katie Taylor. Is that kind of... Because you're talking about the belts, but is it also about her, getting the belts from her? I don't think Katie actually wants to fight me again. She had the chance and I thought the trilogy was kind of signed and it was ready to go but obviously her her manager because I know that the zone wanted the fight and everyone was kind of excited and keen for it but Katie and her team her manager they had other plans and they didn't want they didn't want the fight so if she pulls through Amanda Serrano which I don't think she actually will then if Amanda Serrano is going to be the undisputed champion I'd love the opportunity to face her as well another great fight Fights that can be made, Frank? Well, in this new age of cooperation, why not? We're all best mates. I'm sure we can get it over the line. <laughs> That's exactly what we like to hear. Um, also, a bit of a change in your, your camp, Chantel. You're, you're up with Grant Smith now as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's been a great move. I think this year I've made some big, deci big decisions, some great moves. New promoter, new team. And the only way is back up. And it feels, it feels like a reset button. I, uh yeah had a bit of a rubbish year at the end of the last year and nobody likes losing but I really don't like losing I'm a born winner and I'm stubborn so I made the right changes for me in my career and I'm very happy and can't wait to get the ball rolling and at the start of this presser I introduced you as the the former undisputed super lightweight champion is that something that you're like oh you're you're proud of it or is it like oh why is he saying former like, like how do you feel when I say that I hate it I hate being called former champion and former undisputed the belts are actually in a suitcase in my shed because until I win them back I don't want to see them <laughs> and what about boxing uh, boxing in the UK it sounds like uh, I don't want to give too much away about future plans but you haven't actually boxed in the UK for a little while yeah, it's been over a year and I'm so grateful for the, pe the people that come out to Dublin two times and come to support me because it wasn't cheap for them. There was hotels, flights, the tickets were quite expensive compared to normal shows. So I'm so grateful for the amount of tickets that I did sell and everyone that come out to support me. But it's time that I come back to the UK and box where people can just jump on a train or jump on a car in the car and won't be no hassle and go home. Well, Frank, it sounds like there's plenty to be excited about in the immediate future of Chantel Cameron. Give us your kind of final words, your message to the fans uh, ahead of Chantel. Well, next week you're going to see what her first fight's going to be. You're going to love it. I know she loves it. She's looking forward to the challenge. And uh, it's the start of her journey with Queensbury. And it's going to be an exciting, really exciting journey. And I do believe she, what she's setting out to do with us will happen and she'll achieve it. She's a quality, quality fighter. Irrespective of whether women's boxing or men's, she's a quality fighter. There's no doubt about that. Well, let's get a final word from that quality fighter. A big day for you. New signing for Queensbury. New start, new horizons. Uh, what can we expect? Going to expect fireworks. I'm coming in now with a lot of revengeance, a lot of frustration, and can't wait to get back in the ring and show everyone the frustration I've had, the... the ups and the downs and now it's going to be a completely different animal different mindset new trainer that I feel like is bringing the best out of me as well and I feel like I've made improvements already and uh, I'm just ready to put on a show again and get get the number one spot perfect thank you very much really looking forward to this thank you Frank thank you Chantel uh, thank you for watching we're going to get some photos down the front thanks thank you Chantel thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I need one to go all over. I need now, I'm just for my content. Oh, that's not so serious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yay.